Good afternoon and salam Ibu Pertiwiko. Hackers have successfully targeted FSB, Russia's Federal Security Service, stealing 7.5 terabytes of data from a major contractor, exposing secret FSB projects to de-anonymize Tor browsing, script social media, and helping the state split its internet off from the rest of the world. The data was passed to mainstream media outlets for publishing. BBC Russia broke the news that O-Virus had breached SciTech servers and shared details of contentious cyber projects, projects that included social media scraping, targeted collection, and the de-anonymization of users of the Tor browser. The BBC described the breach as possibly the largest data leak in the history of Russian intelligence services. The projects themselves appear to be a mix of social media scraping, targeted collection against internet users seeking to anonymize their activities, data collection targeting Russian enterprises, and projects that seem to relate to Russia's ongoing initiative to build an option to separate the internal internet from the World Wide Web. More than 20,000 protesters have gathered in Moscow demanding free and fair elections in the Russian capital. Protesters are calling for opposition candidates to be allowed to register for the September polls. The authorities have refused to register them despite each candidate gathering the minimum 5,000 signatures needed to be eligible to run. Opposition leaders, including the most prominent Alexei Navalny, joined supporters at the rally. Activists opposed the government of President Vladimir Putin say the authorities have wrongly declared supporters' signatures invalid. Around 30 candidates were barred from running. Organizers said on Facebook that they were protesting for a Russia without bandits, fraudsters, swindlers, and thieves. Local authorities gave permission for the rally to take place. The protest came amid a drop in approval ratings from Mr. Putin and anger over declining living standards and widespread corruption. According to an opinion poll, more than 65% of Taiwanese say they are willing to fight to defend the country's democratic system against military force by China. The Taiwan Foundation for Democracy commissioned the survey from the Election Study Center at the National Changchi University. Turning to the willingness of people to defend democracy against the use of force by China, 36.3% of respondents said they were very prepared to fight in order to defend Taiwan, with 31.9% saying they were prepared. Only 10.2% said they were not willing, and another 10.3% completely unwilling to fight. Compared to the previous annual survey, the number of people willing to fight had risen, while the number of those not prepared had dropped slightly. More than 70% expressed support for Taiwan's democracy, though opinions were divided about whether developments were positive or negative. Looking toward the future, 36.7% were optimistic, but 31.3% expressed pessimism, and 12.3% even said they were extremely pessimistic about the development of Taiwan's democracy. Well, that's all the updates for now. I'm Razi Ahmad. Thank you for watching.